Hi guys, Jessica. I know I have not been do doing videos. I am still on vacation. Um, this is actually my childhood room. Um, obviously, all the things that I had as a kid aren't on the wall anymore, but this is the location that I'm in. Um, I'm still in Michigan. I will be here a few days. I've gotten quite a few messages from people that they've tagged me. I honestly don't have the time when I'm on vacation to do those tags. I promise that I will do them when I return to Jersey and get myself organized. Um, I see there was a 20 question one, there was a Halloween one that I will do um, late because I was tagged and I wanted to talk about the girl that tagged me um, and some things. I did get a few books. I've only purchased one and my mom um, surprised me with three that she saw on my want list and she actually swapped for them or found them at a used book sale which I'm really shocked that she found some of these. Um, other than that, I do have quite a few packages waiting for me that are media related. I know there's a few books and a few DVDs that when I return home I will do another haul or in my mailbox. So let me show you. The first book is the only book that I purchased. Um, actually I purchased another one. Let me get it. Okay. The first one that I um, purchased is Why Do Men Fall Asleep After Sex? Which is really funny. That's not what the whole book is about. Um, it's actually a sequel to um, Mark Lehner's series, Why Do Men Have Nipples? Like, I know it's kind of an inappropriate topic, but it's all kinds of health questions that people are afraid to ask about. So some of the things in here are like, um, uh, why do men fall asleep um, faster than women? Just stuff about, like, will a watermelon really grow in your stomach if you swallow a seed? Is coffee good for your memory? Is green tea really good for you? Stuff like that. So this is like, yeah, the topic, I think the title is meant so people purchase it. Um, but when you go through it, it talks about like, just kind of um, things that people suggest about health that may be myths and we don't know. So it's quite a big book. I got it for 75 cents. It's brand new. It's never been creased. So um, this is really interesting if you're inter if you like learning things and why things are so and such is very entertaining read so I did get this I forgot about that um I got this is the book that I purchased I got it from the Christmas tree shop I'm not sure if any of you guys had that by your house in the United States this is witch season it's a bind up of the first two books summer and fall by Jeff Marriott Jeff Marriott um writes Buffy Angel Charmed CSI novels um and he has very few of his own but these this is part of a quartet um so i do want to get spring and winter um so it's pretty much about six teens that get stuck in the middle of a witch hunt and it sounds really really interesting it actually is a simon pulse you can see that bind up and i got it for a dollar sixty nine so that was like my super buy <laughs> that's all i really bought the three books that my mom surprised me with is, first of all, is Meg Cabot's Queen of Babel. Um, this is her chiclet type um, reading. It actually sounds very interesting, and um, I really do want to read it. It's about a girl who um, pretty much visits London, I believe, and pretty much she annoys her boyfriend. She gets stuck in England with no boyfriend and no place to live until um, she can fly home. So she goes through this adventure on her own in London. The next book I got, oh there's my dog. Hi buddy. <laughs> um, in the Woods. It's by Tina French. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this book. It is a debut psychological suspense thriller. They, um, Tana also wrote The Likeness. I think someone reviewed this book on YouTube. I don't remember who, but I'm really interested in reading this, and she only got this for a dollar, and it's brand new. And the last one that she got, she swapped for, and I've been wanting this book, I can't even tell you how, how long. I think Megan the Book Addict read this a while ago, if I remember. I can't remember completely, but this is called Ransom My Heart by Meg Cabot, and this is, um, I, if I remember correctly, a historical fiction Meg Cabot book. And, oh my god, I love this cover. I'm sure Karen's going to like this, maybe. I know you're not really a historical fiction fan, Karen, but I think it's a really pretty cover. 
Um, and this, you know, kind of ready orange goes through and then the back. I think it's gorgeous. Um, she got it. It's not in the greatest condition. There is some water damage. Um, but she swapped for it. And I am just so excited for this book. Um, I'm trying to look here. I believe this is a standalone novel. Um, it was written in 2009. It's kind of goes um, with uh, the Princess Diary Girl princess. I think it's following her or something. I don't quite understand. I'm going to read more about the background before I start it. Um, it is like 400 something pages. There's a lot of extras at the back of the book, which I enjoy. It goes from author's insight um, to uh, sneak peek of the next princess diary, which I don't really read, as well as about her, about May Cabot, um, just stuff like that. So I thought this is great. I saw it and I'm like, I was just sh like shrieking because I've been wanting to get that book for so long. So just got, um, five books, actually six with the bind up. So that's my quick update. I miss you guys. Um, hello to all of you. You guys have been commenting and stuff and I just haven't had time. I missed a lot of you guys' videos and it's getting really daunting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back and watch all the ones that I missed. I've pick and choose a lot of them. Um, so if there is something that maybe you did mention me or tag me in um, that you haven't messaged me already, um, please send me a message because I haven't been able to watch everything. So I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Happy reading and I will see you later this week. Bye.